We've said it before, if you want to save money, it's not just what you buy, it's when you buy it. AOL Consumer Advisor Regina Lewis is here with the best deals for the month of April and other items that you should avoid in this month as mm -hmm. well. Good to see you. How are Thank you? Thank you. Very good. So it is now springtime. Yep. And you say April is the month to go out and buy a new lawnmower. People aren't sick of yard work yet. They're not complaining totally. yet. They're still fired up about it. And Sears is playing right into that. So take something like a lawnmower. Okay. It goes from $500 to $375 at Sears right now. We're talking big brand names like Craftsman. Yeah, I know. I would think... I would think that this would not be the greatest time to buy a lawnmower because lawns are coming back. You would think they'd be able to hit you with some good prices at this point. They would, except that it's a competitive category. They have a certain window because pretty soon, you know, you're going to buy it now while you're still excited about the promise of your yard. Plus, an extra saving tip. Everybody who brings home one of these, Chris, odds are they're giving away their old ones. So watch for them at tag sales. Got it. And a weed whacker. Everyone needs a weed whacker <laughs> as well. Can't have one without the other. Let's talk uh, indoors now. And sure. And vacuum cleaners. You say it's a good month to buy a vacuum. It is. Again, if I'm a major manufacturer, in this case a Hoover, I am looking for some sort of tie-in, a seasonal tie-in for my promotion. In this case, they're working with Amazon, 30% off all Hoover cleaning products. So your rug steam cleaners, your vacuums, it goes from suddenly a 129 to 99. Any reason why April for vacuum cleaners? I mean, you have to clean your house all year round. Why? Yeah because I have to find a peg. If I'm Hoover and I'm talking to Amazon about promotions all year round, they're going to dream up something called spring cleaning. So this is where you see the big players that are able to offer the discounts. Got it. All right, let's move on here. If you've been shipwrecked, you need a life preserver or a <laughs> wheel for your SS men. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, this is uh, cruises. It's now the right time to book cruises. It is. Here's why. There's something called shoulder season, which is a certain window of time that is not peak. It's not off peak, but you can get great prices. In okay. this case, going to Europe, it's a little chillier right th now. So cruises, and the deals are unbelievable. We looked yeah. at Royal Caribbean, 12 days, no matter which room you get, the suites or the lower end rooms, under $200. A night. A night, amazing. Yeah, so a little under $2,000 yeah. for a 12 nights, a wonderful deal. Any other extra ways to save if, you're, if it comes to booking cruises? You know, I talk to people who go on cruises a lot. Their tip was book your next cruise while you're still on the ship. And you might think, wow, you know, you're in a great mood, they have you captive, but you're able to negotiate. And the person you're talking to on the ship probably has a quota to meet. Yeah, don't say held captive when you're talking about being on a cruise. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's talk about the rainy season right now. And land Land's End's got some great rain jacket deals. Yeah, Land's End has a great deal because what happens with rain wear is there's a certain window of time, April showers, mm -hmm. but then it shrinks, so they go on sale very quickly. So these things come out, and then boom, the next thing you know, which is right now, 50% off at Land's End. So we're looking at this rain code right here. If that goes from 130 down to 55 by the way, if you spend more than $50 on landsend.com, they'll ship it to you for free. Excellent. Let's move on over here to our little uh, home office. Laptops. <laughs> you say April is a great month to go buy some, uh, some laptops and or notebooks. Yeah, here's why. We talked about the Consumer Electronics Show in January. It takes roughly three months for those products they unveil there to make their way into the store. Once they do, the old models go on sale. So in this case, we've gone from $600 to $500 at Best Buy every Sunday. Check their website. That's when they launch their weekly sales. All right, so check out Best Buy. How about office furniture, this desk, this chair? The reason here is really, really interesting. Small businesses tend to invest in their business once they know what they're paying tax-wise or what they're getting back. So what Office Depot and others do is they try to play into that tax refund spending spree. Okay. So you will see office furniture sales and that's why. And you can go online too? Some you of can. the sales are even bigger online as opposed to going to the store? It's certainly to get things like coupons. Okay. And there are coupon websites where you can grab 30 extra dollars off. All right, great. Um, gym membership. This one's a little counterintuitive. because I think would have it's, thought New Year's. New yeah. Year's resolutions, that was when they would get you. But that's their peak time, okay. right? So they don't have to discount then. They have to discount now because they're competing with the outdoors. People say, well, I'm going to run outside. I'll ride my bike. They don't want to come inside. Yeah. So it's a good time to go in with a friend. They'll waive the initiation fee and haggle. Keep in mind, the person who's selling gym memberships probably works on commission. Got it. Tough to compete with Central Park here in New York. Yeah, exactly. Though. Very, very difficult. Thrift shops. You would think that would be a good enough deal just to begin with. It is a good deal to begin with. It's an extra a good deal right now because of selection. What happens is spring cleaning, people are driving up, making donations, and then driving out. If ever there was a time to walk into the thrift shop, it is right now because they have great selection, which means even they have sales. We have what to buy, what not to buy. Sweaters are a great bargain at thrift stores, especially right now. Cookbooks, terrific. Where we advise, and WalletPop.com has an article on this, is albums. You can tend to do better at a record store. And Christmas decorations, only because, as you and I yep. have talked about a lot, they Almost are deeply season. discounted after the holidays at regular stores. And let me just tell you, if you go to a thrift <laughs> store and you see Synchronicity, or better yet, you see Michael Jackson's Thriller, you buy it. 
You buy it and you go, because you've got yourself a deal. All right, let's talk real quickly about some things that uh, you don't want to buy in the month of April. I'm really glad you asked, because that spring cleaning bug means a lot of people are into home renovations. What you don't want to buy are stoves, washer dryers, dishwashers. Those things tend to go on sale September, October, when they make way for new models going into 2012. So if you can, hold off to the fall. Okay, great advice. Really good stuff. Regina, thank you. All right. Good to see you.